Hey guys, it's Michaela, and welcome to my review of part two of Selena the series. This series isn't perfect, and there were a lot of things that I had issues with, but I don't know if I'm in the minority here, but I actually enjoyed it. I had a great time learning about specific details of Selena's life that I wasn't aware of before, and maybe that's why I enjoyed it a little more because I kind of went in blind, having only seen the movie, and there's a lot of things I did not know. If you haven't checked out my review of part one, please check that out and then come back here. We're going to get talking about it right now. So for starters, I want to say that it was a big improvement from part one, in my opinion. I felt that I enjoyed the musical performances a little better, the costuming and the wigs. I know I had an issue with that in part one. I thought it was a lot better, maybe because we got into more of like the 90s and I don't know, it was just, it just looked less cheap. I know that sounds kind of mean, but... And in general, with the actual storylines of part two, because we got into the more emotional and more intense parts of Selena's life and career, it definitely felt more cinematic at times and less like just a TV show. And on that note, I really like how the show matured as Selena did. So as she became an adult, we were dealing with more intense and emotional tones and you know, watching her explore and figure out her life as she kind of took on more responsibility and independence. It's almost like I got the vibe that the show felt less kiddish in um, part two. Not that it was a bad thing or like it felt like it was only for kids in part one, but I just, I could see a difference. I think it's amazing how part one handled like several years, whereas part two was I think like three or four years all packed into nine episodes. Each episode was filled with so much content and so many events that happened, lots that I wasn't aware of, some that I was familiar with from the movie and other videos I've seen of Selena, and just the way it played out. I mean, her life cut way too short. Felt like it was meant to be told as a story. It's almost poetic how, you know, she was accomplishing so much right after each other. Just the way things start to crumble as Yolanda steps into the picture. It's like it's meant to be a show or a movie or a book. It's so sad. I mean, that's what really got me with this this series, especially part two, was that the whole time I knew what was gonna happen in the end. And as I kept watching episode after episode, I'm like, I don't want it to end. I don't want her to have to die. It was just, yeah, that was definitely hard watching it. And now onto some more specific things that I really enjoyed about the show. One, like I've pretty much been saying, is that we got details. Little things like the rings that Selena wore on her finger, how she had a band-aid on her finger at one point, um, getting to see Selena's sister's wedding and seeing her everyday life and how she juggles work and all her responsibilities. It was just cool to see those details because we didn't get to see all of them in the movie. Obviously the movie, you're fitting all of that story into like two hours. Whereas with this, we really had time to explore her life. I mean, we had one episode that was pretty much dedicated to just showing Selena's entire day. We saw her wake up in the morning. She had to be at a photo shoot at seven. It was just so cool to see, you know, what she would have done. And yeah, I just, I really liked that. And getting to know her that well and seeing the bond she had with her family and her husband really made her death hit even harder. It always would hit me hard, but I mean, just creating that bond with the audience and with each other, it was just so emotional when that final episode came. And just as we all saw in the trailer, part two had all of the familiar songs and events and scenes that us fans are all used to. I love to hear the more iconic songs and see those performances. And not just that, see how they were actually recorded, how Selena and her brother AB or whoever it was come up with the songs. It's just such a cool behind the scenes look, seeing how the music videos were filmed. And I even loved how we got to hear those songs multiple times. One part in particular that I was really taken back by was the recording of No Me Queda Mas in the studio. I didn't know that Ricky, her keyboard player, wrote that song. And I did not know that it was about her sister Suzette because he liked her and she was now married. It was such a touching moment to see him crying while watching Selena record the song. 
And now every time I listen to that song, it just has a whole new meaning. So that was really awesome how we got to see that. And like I said before, the costumes I felt were a big improvement. And not just that, the outfits, Selena's outfits in the 90s were just iconic. I love that the styles are now back today. She was just so stylish. She was so meant to have her own boutique and fashion line. And the next thing I wanna touch on, which might be controversial for some, would be Christian Serrato's and her portrayal of Selena. I personally enjoyed her in the role. I think it's automatic that we all compared her to JLo, but I don't think that's really fair. Even if you're comparing her to Selena herself, which I mean is inevitable, I think you have to be able to separate things like her looks. I know it's a big part of playing a real person to look like them, but while she wasn't identical, I definitely saw a resemblance. When she had those outfits on, I knew who she was. It, it, I don't know, I think she didn't deserve some of the hate that she got. I thought her dancing was better in part two, the lip syncing was better. And like I said in my trailer reaction, I just think she has Selena's charm. Like that smile, her big smile just lights up. I'm gonna touch on capturing Selena's whole essence a little bit in my issues section. For the most part, I really enjoyed Christian's portrayal. And I think it's awesome that she is showing Selena to a whole new generation of fans. And I think that's all we can ask for, right? And before I touch on my issues with the show, I just have to talk about the finale. Say what you want about the entire series. Some people I've read didn't like it at all. But the finale, I think if you're a fan or even if you're not a fan, it was so emotional and I think so well done. They handled her death so tastefully. And you know, they didn't show too much, but they showed just enough. I think starting off the day of Selena's death with just her waking up, getting dressed, brushing her teeth, doing whatever her normal routine was, was so powerful because it showed that she did not know that she was gonna die that day. It was a normal day. I like how we see Selena and Yolanda enter the hotel room, but we don't hear or see what's going on because you know we really don't know exactly what went on in there. And just hearing that gunshot, I think that whole episode, I was just crying, <laughs> for real. Actually, even the episode before, like with the Astrodome performance, just seeing oh, them all perform so happy, I started crying right then and there because I'm like, oh, this is not gonna end well. Keep in mind, I was watching it really late at night as well, so like my emotions were just, yeah. But what really got me, not only the family listening to Dreaming of You and mourning, but when the guy at the record company, I don't know his name, when he started breaking down and crying, he bawled and I was just done. And while I was a wreck, I was really happy that they ended on a happy note. Just seeing Selena alive, performing Bitty Bitty Bomb Bomb. I know it was replicating a past concert, I think from 1994, but I almost saw it as her performing, you know, like in heaven. Everything was dark. You just saw the stars around her. She had her family with her. Uh, I just think that was more of like a symbolic thing because that's where she felt most at home. She's just wearing all white. I'm not sure if that was the goal, but I don't know. For some reason, I interpreted like that and it just made it more sad for me. I really loved the last shot. Selena comes off stage and her sister takes a photo of her. You get one last glimpse and then she just walks off into the darkness. That too, bald. But yeah, that was everything that I liked about the show. Now, as I said, there were some things that I had an issue with, things I would have changed, things I thought were kind of weird. Firstly, I feel like Chris, Selena's husband, because in real life, he didn't have any creative involvement in the show. I was just curious as to if he would change anything or add anything. He was obviously a big part of Selena's life that I think it's kind of not nice that um, her family didn't really involve him. In relation to that, I feel like he didn't get as much time in the show to show how he felt about Selena's death. We got one shot of him lying down on the bed listening to her song, Dreaming of You, after her passing, but that's it. I definitely questioned during the finale, like, I wanna see Chris again, what happened to Chris? It's just he's done, like, <laughs> So yeah, that's one issue of mine. Another one would be that I felt the budget was definitely noticeable. Um, they did not receive a lot of money to make this show, I don't think. Um, filming through COVID didn't help as well, but a lot of the times you could tell that you know they were just on a built set. 
Um, there was green screen. I mean, just look at the Astrodome performance. I'm pretty sure we got like reused shots from the movie of the stadium. There was definitely green screen when you saw Selena looking out and waving. You can see that it, you know, it wasn't real. I know it's not really their fault, but you know, it would have been nice to have a little more of a budget. And now while I said I, I really liked Christian's portrayal of Selena, I definitely think that both her and JLo didn't capture her entire essence when I watch videos and interviews she was so funny and always like cracking jokes and always laughing with that huge smile there were hints of it with both JLo and Christian but I don't think either of them really got to that joking side of her and this next issue it's more just something that I found kind of weird and I don't know if anyone else noticed it but with Suzette, Selena's sister, I felt that in season two, all of a sudden she had a random like country accent. Wow, this is fine because I know they live in Texas, but I don't think she had it in season one. So when all of a sudden I heard her be like, Selena, don't lie, I was like, what? <laughs> it just made me laugh because it would just come out different words. It was, yeah, that was kind of weird. And then the last thing that I would add would be at the end of the series, a picture of the real Selena, maybe a little video clip, even of her whole family, her and Chris. Because, you know, we, we go through this whole show seeing the actors. And just like in the movie, I really appreciate seeing the real people at the end. So that would have been good. I was really expecting it and surprised that they didn't include that. But yeah, those are my thoughts on Selena, the series. Once again, it wasn't perfect. But I think it did its job for me. It made me more of a fan of her. I've been listening to all of her songs on Spotify. I have a Selena playlist now. While there are obvious, you know, haters on this show, I think we should just all appreciate that her legacy is continuing and more people are seeing how much she was able to accomplish at such a young age that, you know, her life was cut way too short. So on that note, comment down below what you thought of Selena the series. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already and don't forget to hit that like button. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!